really nervous, guys. Oh, man. <laughs> I haven't seen you guys in a long time, and I'm so nervous. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. I'm pulling you guys up over here on my desktop. Um, give me a second. Hello. Hello. I'm so excited. So, oh, wait, wait. So, uh, hello. <laughs> my name is Stacey Flowers, and I'm a student of Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University. I'm on a journey to become 100% debt-free. My current debt is $99,999, no, $99,999, and I'm on baby step number two to repay all of my debt. In this video, I am going to be going over my January 2021 budget, and I'm going to be zero-based budgeting an income, a net income of $20,000. So if you are interested in that, please keep watching. I'm so excited. I'm very excited to be here. Um, hold on, let me pull you guys up so that I can see some of your comments and stuff like that. This is so exciting. It's so exciting. Um, so big elephant that's in the room. I have been gone since July. Um, and that was in, it was for a couple of reasons. So one reason is not something that I'm going to go into on this video. Um, I'll tell you briefly, like my family is facing something and that'll kind of show up in the budget, but I don't want to talk about it cause I just need privacy to be able to process that. Um, and that has well, a little bit to do with, I, I, let me see, that has something to do with, um, being away. Um, but primarily the biggest thing with being away is that like I've needed to be away. So I think in July, the last video that I had shared with you guys, I was kind of just giving you a general update and telling you like how I was feeling, what was going on, so on and so forth. And I had made mention that my hair was falling out from like stress alopecia. And anytime, I mean, I wear my hair low, but like anytime like my stress is to the point where it's physically manifesting as a illness then that is a really really big indication for me that i need to take a step back and figure some things out and so there was so much going on um this year that i've written and so much good stuff going on that i was like oh i'm fine there should be nothing wrong but my body was like no you're not fine and i have some really amazing incredible supportive friends and they were like yeah you're tired you should go ahead and take a break i was like are you sure i'm tired are you sure that's what it was and they were like we're a thousand percent sure so um, with respect to doing any social media, I pull up actually all work. Let me not say that. The bulk of work, I definitely pulled back. I did um, continue with my speaking business and I did continue. Um, obviously, this is why I have income for next month. So um, in other videos, and maybe we'll do a different video where I talk about my different revenue streams and how those has, have changed this year. Um, but essentially what I did is I took a step back just to deal with what was going on with me personally in terms of being tired and in terms of being emotionally overwhelmed and not necessarily emotionally overwhelmed because of the pandemic or the racial unrest but mostly emotionally overwhelmed because and I don't want to cry but I, I might <laughs> dang it I was this and that's the other thing I was like if I get on social media it's just I'm just gonna be crying every day and there's you know um, but the biggest thing, you know, my son turned 18 and, you know, like I have an empty nest and it is a huge transition for me. It is massive. It is a massive transition for me and it hit me like a ton of bricks and I needed time to process that. Um, and it was very difficult to process that while I was also fatigued and overwhelmed with respect to work. So, um, that's a little bit of the reason why, like I took a step back in. You know why why I'm like sort of you know slowly but it's slowly but surely coming back and you guys know rest is like super super important and my number one priority always 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 is my mental and emotional health and so once the physical symptoms alerted me to me not actually really um, taking care of myself very well I was like oh I need to step back from as much as possible and so um, with respect to my speaking contracts I obviously maintain those because I was under contract but everything else I've intentionally built my business so that I could have the room to be able to do that so that that way I'm always taking the very best care of myself um, so that that way I can show up and I can continue to do this work that I love so that is the big elephant in the room that needs to be addressed um, let's see what else is new um, my dad I'm officially under six figures I'm officially under a hundred K I'm very excited about that um, it's kind of mind-blowing it's kind of scary to 
to have $99,999 left to pay in my student loan debt. Um, it's kind of exciting. It's very like, it's really surreal. It's like, oh, oh, okay. Um, and I didn't do the math. I, I should have looked at my first video that I did of 2020 to see where my debt was. I feel like it was at like 170, right? I think it was at like 170. So that would mean that I paid about $70,000 off um, in 2020, which can we just pause for? <laughs> like paying off seventy thousand dollars in one year and when i started this journey i was making eight hundred dollars a month working part-time at a cafe like mind completely blown like you know so i'm very very proud and excited and happy to be under 100k um that's probably the biggest uh newest thing that's going on we're going into in terms of just like what's going on and then on the financial journey side of things is that business has been well enough well not well enough business has been amazing which has enabled me to continue to pay on my debt the other thing also that really helped and maybe i'll do this in a separate video is um my student loans are federally funded so as a result of the pandemic all interest was canceled and i had no idea like i mean i had done the math but i had no idea how much interest was really making it hard for me to like i mean i was getting ahead but it was really like i mean my interest was like punching me in the face every month and to have my interest canceled i think interest started to get canceled in april so since april my loans have not had any interest which means every single dollar that i have paid on it has gone to the principal let me tell you when like when there's no interest and you are just like like chopping away like it feels like a completely different experience but again we'll talk about that in another video because this video is all about my budget so um those are the newest things income is twenty thousand. i'm going to turn you guys over and we will do the budget after we do um my budget then i'll pop off pop back on and we can do a q a um session so then that way i can answer any of the questions that you guys have um and if anybody wants to do their budget to follow along, the link is in the description box. So, and I do have my water because this should be, this should be like, it's the setup for the year. So you guys know that I like to drink a lot of water in general, but especially if I'm going to be working with like my numbers and stuff, like because your brain, I need to figure out this number is we're going to go with 70% water. Like you want to put the fuel in your brain that is going to have your brain support you in finishing the activity so i know a lot of people like to have a glass of wine or they want to have a cup of coffee or they want to have something else to drink with while they're doing their budget i highly recommend that you just drink water because the focus and the concentration and the going over the numbers and stuff like that it's just really helpful to have your brain like nice and i was going to say moisturized but that is not what it is but just nice and like you know fueled by its uh proper source so i do have water and um i have my budget form still a fan of the dave ramsey program clearly it works um we're gonna do the quick start budget first the monthly cash flow and then we will do the allocated spending so without further ado let me get you guys turned over i'm in a different location so moving you to turn you over is a little bit of work so first i'm gonna turn my camera for just a second so that i can move my stuff around and get you guys moved over here and then once all of that mostly i just don't want you guys to see how not clean my office is right now <laughs> I do miss you guys so, 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 so much. You have no idea um, how much I miss you so that we should be good. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. It's like exactly what was happening there. Okay. So let me hold on because I wasn't able to fully get you guys up over here. Let me get you up over here on YouTube so that I can see the chat. Yes. Merry, 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 Merry Christmas to everyone. Happy holidays. Um, man, we're about to go into a new year and I am very, very excited for what the new year will bring. 
I got the most amazing Christmas gift in all the land, which we'll talk about it in the budget, but I will share more about it in a later video. Um, my internet is just taking a little bit of time. No, 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 I need to go here. It's been a while, hasn't it? I'm a little, forgot how to, <laughs> forgot how to do this. <laughs> I'm like, where, like, where is everything? Okay, okay, we're almost there. How do I, here? YouTube has changed some things. Let me see. Will that let me see the chat? How do I, I'm trying, I'm just trying to get to the chat so I can see you guys. Okay, there we go. So, Ooh, you can pin a message to the top of the live chat. Oh, okay. I don't necessarily have a message to pin, but um, Antonia, hi, hi, everybody. Chrissy, Tor, I, I miss you guys so much. Okay, let, without further ado, let's get let's get into the budget. Okay, so my income is twenty thousand. You guys know that a high K, we pay. Uh, I pay 10% to my tides, so that will be 2,000 to tides. And then you guys also know that I do 10% to child support. And for those of you guys who are new, um, I my son lives with his father full time. I understand that he is 18 and he's an adult and child support is typically stops at this time, but I have made my decision and 10% goes to child support um, my emergency fund is still fully funded so there aren't any um, additional um, costs there I don't have any other additional savings as well um, which a lot of people just don't agree with that but I've kept my lifestyle very conservative so it has worked for me my rent is 930 oh you know what oh no it doesn't change till January right that's what my I mean not January uh, July yeah, it doesn't change till July. I believe in July, my rent is gonna go down because I signed another lease and I signed the lease that gave me less money uh, or less cost for rent. So my rent will go down. Uh, my renter's insurance is 575. So we'll see that reflected a little later on in the year. Um, and for those of you guys who may be wondering, I do not have any plans to move. I was gonna move. But I'm so grateful and so thankful that I did not move. It would have been a not awesome decision for me given the amount of emotional stuff that was going on. I needed the sameness and the grounding of this amazing, incredible, stunning, gorgeous apartment. Um, my electricity, 25. My gas, 25. And then there is a second gas. Oh, no, no, no. Yes, there's a second gas. And then my phone. Um, it's interesting. Oops. It's interesting that um, my uh, my my gas, they, they switched our gas meters to, I mean, this is maybe not interesting to you guys, but, and actually, that's why I don't have that on there. My business pays my phone bill now. Um, our gas, my gas meter is now outside of my apartment. And before it was in my apartment and I had two gas bills. I mean, I still have two gas bills, but it's just better now that the meter is on the outside. That's also new. I don't think that I had updated you guys on that. My grocery budget is right around 300. Um, it may actually be 350. We'll see how much um, left I have in disposable income that that will go there and this includes um the delivery fees because i do grocery shop a lot different than how i uh grocery shop before and in terms of delivery you guys know that i was a waitress for a decade that is how i love waitressing but that's also how i put myself through undergrad and grad school and so um i'm a natural tipper but especially during times like this i am tipping any anyone who provides a service for me is being tipped 25 percent or more um and so that this is the reason why my grocery budget may go to 350 because right now um, I get groceries from two places, but one place every other month. But I just signed up for Amazon Prime and I probably can start having my Whole Foods groceries delivered, depending. I haven't decided if I'm going to um, do that or not, but that's that would affect this price going up because I do want to build in um, at least 25% tipping of the drivers to the cost of the 
the parts of groceries um, that get delivered. You said check your utilities total. 25 plus 25 plus 25. That's 75, right? That's 75, right? I think that's 75. I can't. Who said that? Uh, hold on. Who said that? Um, long time no see. Uh, yeah. Shanita, that's, that's 75, right? Yeah. It could just be my handwriting that's making that look a little sloppy. But... Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. All right. No, but I appreciate it. That's why this is the reason why I, you guys don't even understand the amount of mistakes I made not having this international um, support. Oh, that's something that I typically say too. Like I, even though I'm, my income has grown and I'm getting out of debt, I still consider myself to be a student of Dave Ramsey. So um, I'm a student. I'm open to learning. Um, as far as clothing, there's no clothing needs for my son or I. Um, car payment. So this is transportation. And for me, the way that I do most of my, well, yeah, most of my transportation, unless it's friends or something, it's Uber. So it's the same thing here with Uber. I want to give my Uber driver a 25% tip for his thing as well. And so normally I feel like the last time we did a budget, I was probably giving myself somewhere between 50 or $75 a month. I don't go very many places, but on the off chance that I do, um, on the off chance that I do, I just wanna be able to have it built into my budget to be able to tip my Uber driver because they are taking a risk that I don't want to take um, in order to get me where I'm to where I'm going. And um, my clients and my vendors have been very generous this year and I uh, wanna pass that on. So all that to say my Uber, even though um, I haven't spent up to this 150. This is about what I've been budgeting a month for. Transportation is about $150. Um, my life insurance is not $150. My life insurance is $26.75. My health insurance coverage is $150. I don't have disability. Um, I do have dental, but I paid dental um, it's like this $99 program and I'm going to end up needing to pay that $99 again in 2021 because I didn't get all of the dental things that I needed to get done. And if you're wondering why I have so many dental things, it's because I didn't go to the dentist for what, three years, two, three years, three years, nearly three years. And so there's things that need to be done. And it's, the biggest thing in 2021 is I'm going to be getting a root canal. So I'm going to change this to dental just because I'm going to pay that 99 to get the savings on the root canal. So I'm hoping that that makes sense. Um, I don't typically give myself an entertainment or other budget. I just put that in my um, wants later. So let's get these numbers added up. And I want you guys to be able to see my calculator while I'm putting them in. So this is personal that I'm going to do first. So 2675 plus 150 plus 99 which again that is it's a new cost but it it's based off the dental that I got done last this year it's totally worth it so 275 75 is the total there um okay what is the name of your dental plan it's not dental insurance it's like I think it's called smile smiley or I smile or we smile or I'll I'll, I'll find it and and see but it's not dental insurance it's like a dental discount program or something like that. Um, so 175, 150, 300, 75, 942. Okay, all right, and then this, that total will be 4,000. Let's pull that out so we can see that. So I'm just gonna circle my totals so that way I'm adding up the right numbers. Okay, so we'll add 4,000 to 942.75 plus 75 plus 300 plus 150 plus 275.75 equals $5,743.50. And I'm just, I'm going to do my math again before I write that on my paper, but let me write that down. 57435. Uh oh, sorry guys. Okay. Um, and you guys can watch my math as well to let me know if. I'm trying to make sure the calculator is in the shot. Okay, so 4,000 in giving, 942.75, 75 
Okay, so that's $5,743.35. Uh, yes, Vanessa, I'm still following Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University. This program is amazing. I think the zero-based budget is the best budget in all the land. Um, I, the, if, if I, there, obviously there are many factors that um, go into why my income is going up and, you know, why you know I'm able to pay off the debt that I'm able to pay but hands down it is to me it is doing the budget every single month before the month begins like because I always know where my money is going I always have more than enough money and I'm learning that manage money like like spins better like it just it just spins better <laughs> it, it really does and it's way easier to receive more when you know how to manage it um, because I mean $20,000 is like not a small amount of money. That's like somebody's salary. That's basically my salary for when I first got started. And now I'm earning that in a month. And to psychologically wrap my mind around earning that in a month and then going into another month, potentially earning the same. Ideally, I want to have my income be $20,000 a month or more for the rest of the remainder of the year. It's like if I didn't have these budgeting forms to help me like put that money down so that that way I didn't freak out in my head. I don't know, I just, I would probably just blow it. Like, cause you know, money is super emotional for me. Um, so, so yeah, so my needs for January, 2021 are $5,743.50. Um, and essentially that's what the quick start budget really shows me is what do I need to cover? My, you know, Dave Ramsey talks about the four walls. So food, clothing, shelter, transportation um and all of that is in here i include my giving inside of my needs because giving is just a part of the practice of my life so it's a part of my spiritual practice and then it's also a part of me honoring um my role as a parent and so that's why i prioritize it on here rather than waiting until the cash flow plan and prioritizing it as child support and that works for me psychologically right like that works for me and because it works for me psychologically you can see the fruit of me prioritizing this as a giving as a need as opposed to prioritizing giving as like a luxury or something to do when I made it. I've been giving since my income was $800 a month and now it's a beautiful habit and now I'm able to do it at this level and, and that's amazing. So my total needs for January $5,743.50. Um, Best study buddy said, what if you volunteer um, your time? Does that still count for charitable giving or is it not as good? I volunteer in San Diego and love your opinion. I think volunteering your time is good. Um, I think I think any sort of giving is amazing. It's just you want the psychology to match. So when we volunteer our time, the psychology of volunteering our time doesn't necessarily match with an increase of income or an increase of money, right? So sometimes people will say, well, I'm volunteering, you know, okay, I'm gonna answer this now, but then I gotta make sure I answer these on the Q and A. But sometimes people will say, you know, my tithe or my giving is in time. And that's wonderful if you psychologically link time to money in terms of if you want, if so, okay, hold on, let me see, let me see how I wanna explain them. Okay, best study buddy i'm going to answer this question but i'm going to answer this question later so that that way i can make sure that i'm answering it properly and not in the middle of this but i think overall i think volunteering your time is amazing and that's something that i do as well so um but i will answer it in the next video so that we can continue doing our budget um no 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 need to apologize it's a beautiful question and i love it so um, I'll just answer it in the next so I can make sure I honor people's time who just came to see the budget. So, okay. Um, my take home income is 20,000. So a lot of, a lot with my income, even when I was making 10,000 people would ask me, is that net or gross? This is net income for me for the month of January. Um, and I'll just go ahead and take what I put on my needs. I'll go ahead and fill that in over here. So 2000 for my tides and then 2000 for my child support. making that a total of 4,000. And you'll see on the monthly cash flow, 
the boxes get moved around a little bit and that is just the Dave Ramsey method. I've grown accustomed to it so it doesn't frustrate me or bother me, um, but you'll see that the boxes are moved around. So for example, I'm gonna put my rent in here at 937 and on the other sheet, I also put my rental insurance, but on this sheet, it doesn't have that on there. So back in the day, that used to really trip me up, but I got it now. So just go ahead and fill in these boxes and I'm gonna wait to put in the grocery number only because only because I, I might actually kick that up a little bit. I mean, I guess maybe if I do kick it up, I could just kick it up down here and just call it tips. Maybe we'll do that. What do you guys, okay, I, I need your help. Um, what do you guys think about that? Do you think I should change my grocery budget to a higher amount to accommodate for tipping? Or do you think I should, over here on this, set aside an amount like instead of this being other call that tips and then know that that is my tips budget does that make sense how i'm saying that so if you guys think i should change my grocery number press one if you think i should create a separate category called tips press two let's see i'm just curious yeah thank you ej okay so okay so mostly twos mostly twos Okay. All right. So then. Okay. Okay. So mostly twos. Okay. So we're going to create, and this is in full transparency that that's not something that I have done in the previous months. Um, but this is in helping or excuse me, talking out loud helps me so much. That's not something that I've done in the previous months, but literally talking this out, um, just helped me a lot to, to see that. Um, so, okay, so we're going to call that tips. So if the idea that my, I would spend $300, so my normal grocery budget in my mind is $300, right? So three, oops, so $300 and I like to tip 25%. So we can just do 25%. That's $75, right? But so, okay, not, but, but okay. So do you guys think I should say, okay, $75 to set aside for tipping on groceries or does that need to be a little bit more because it's not like let me see hold on let me, let me think this through because I'm in my mind what I'm thinking is like okay so two places that I go so like one place I there are two items that I get from Costco when I'm um, ordering so well two to three items when I do every other month that I get from Costco and let's just say that order came to a hundred then I would tip twenty five dollars off of that and then if I did Mariano's and that was 200 then oh, okay no that works okay so that's what it is so if the budget if the grocery budget is 300 then the tip set aside at 25 percent is 75 yes oh angel you said i'm deceiving myself okay can you tell me more like what 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 am i deceiving myself is it because i'm mixing it i'm not mixing it together so woman of a certain age you feel like to me, tips are what you pay to get your groceries. Yeah, it is what I pay to get my groceries, but I literally think I'm eating $300 worth of groceries is what I'm in my mind. I don't have to tip Costco. I don't have to tip anybody. So earlier, Buttercup Bunny, so earlier I talked about how my grocery shopping is very different because I actually have a portion of my groceries delivered. And because I used to be a waitress and because we are in this time, I really... I'm, I'm naturally a great tipper, but I really valued someone doing this service for me. So my tipping minimum is 25%. So that's what's happening, Buttercup. You don't have to tip Costco. This is just me. Um, okay. Angel grocery cost is one thing. Oh, okay. So that's what you're saying. If I combine it, then I'm deceiving myself. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's okay. So we're good. So we're going to separate it. So we'll leave my groceries at 300 and then I'm just going to make a note that the tip on $300 worth of groceries is $75. And then, so the same thing then for my Uber, I never really get to about $150 in my Uber budget. I usually, I still, I'm still spending around like $75 in Uber. Maybe, maybe like a hundred, maybe a hundred. Some, some of the costs are up a little bit, maybe like a hundred dollars, but you guys know most of my Uber trips were like 
to therapy, but now we do therapy virtually. So it's very rare that I'm in an Uber. So maybe if we take my Uber budget down to a hundred and then do $25 in the tip category. Yes. Um, are we thinking that for Uber? Okay. So can I, so, okay. So if you think I can take my Uber budget down to a hundred dollars and then just set aside $25 in the tip jar or in the tip category, Yes, yes. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to change that on here also so that my numbers add up. So I'm going to take that down to 100, and then I'm going to minus this number by 100. Just so. I want you guys to see what I'm doing. And this, I miss y'all so much. Y'all have no idea. My God. This is awesome. Five, six, nine, three, fifty. Okay, so this is the new budget. For that okay all right so I'm gonna take my uber down to a hundred dollars and then I'm just gonna make a note to when we get to the page I will add the $25 for tip because again at 25% um, so yeah honey BV said was your uber? yep I just corrected that no 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 so she who plans I spend $300 typically in groceries like that was what I was budgeting before for groceries so I see how you were saying take it down to 225 and then go and then tip 75 it's like usually what ends up happening is the every other month when I go to Costco it's a little bit like more because it's Costco and then but the previous month is the month that I don't go to Costco then I can get like you know not it's not really a little bit more I'm usually like right at like 297 264 something like that something around that so I'm right around 300 so yeah okay that was very helpful thanks guys um ah let's okay so let's go to the next thing so I don't have any open doctor's bills I will be ordering so well, am I doing my out of vitamins no I'm not out of vitamins okay let me think so gynecologist uh dentist optometrist I don't have any of those appointments in January. I don't have any of those bills. Okay, so we don't have anything. And and we're going to put that dental coverage under insurance. Yes. Okay. So that's this. I'm just trying to fill in what we had originally put on the quick start first. And then I'll fill in details. So life insurance, $26.75. Um, health and coverage, um, $150. Um, and I might pay the year of my health coverage in full this once we get all these numbers down depending on how much money I have left over I may pay my health coverage in full which would be $1,800 do that is that what that would be Blah. that added up quick okay yeah I might pay my health coverage in full for the year um, and we'll talk more about that when we get to that. My renter's insurance is 575 and then I'm just going to change this to dental. Uh, dis, dent, it's like a dental discount thing, and that's $99. So let's add those numbers up. Okay, $281.50. I'm going to just do it one, the math one more time. Yes, two, eight, one, fifty. Okay, um, so this is the category that we're going to be filling out here shortly: the personal, um, entertainment, and then debt. We didn't put anything there. So let us fill in some of my new expenses. So this is where I'm going to kind of be updating you guys a little bit more on my lifestyle. Um. um uh, a little bit more on my lifestyle so for laundry I do a laundry service and my laundry service is $60 a month but again I like to tip so <laughs> oh this is so fat I'm gonna see exactly how much I'm tipping that is so crazy so I have a valet who comes and picks up my laundry and then I have a valet who drops my laundry off 
So usually what I give is like $5 to pick it up, $5 to drop it off. And I'm learning here that it should be $7.50 each because that would be divided by two, right? Yeah. So they're going to start. So I'm going to put that I'm going to put that $15 there because I was just going to what I've been doing is just putting $75 here for um, I've just been putting $75 here for laundry, but it's actually $60 and then I tip 15 if that makes sense. So I'm going to do 60 um, and it's like a subscription service is $60. Um, I'll talk more about it in a vlog, but I wanted to add that because I do send my laundry out once a month. Um, that is that. Then let's see. So let's see with these numbers before we do personal and debts. Let's see with these numbers what my total comes to so we can see how much disposable income I have. Um, so, all right. So, and just can you guys see my, okay, you can see my calculator. Okay, so follow my math and let me know if I'm doing anything wrong. So, 4,937, 75. 300 plus 60 plus 100. Ooh, can you guys still see the calculator? Okay. Plus 28150. All right, so that number is 575350. Now we'll subtract this from my total income for January, which is 20,000. So that means I have 14,246550 left over. I have $14,246.50 left over for um, disposable income for the month of January. And I need to separate that between my personal things. Um, so basically my wants and then also my debts. So I mentioned that there is something that my family is going through and I want to be financially prepared to deal with it should it get worse. So there is a portion of this 14000 that I want to set aside for that. Um, I should have probably thought about how much I wanted that to be because um, uh, I'm about to think about it in real time with you guys. Um, but there's a portion of it that I want to set aside. There is a portion of it um, that obviously is going to go to debt and then obviously is going to go to my personal. Now, normally you guys know that I prioritize deciding how much I'm going to pay in debt before I do anything. But because my income, I have a higher disposable income and obviously I'm going to put something towards my debt. And I'm trying to wrap my mind around what I'm going to set aside for my family what i want to go through first are the personal updates and then from what's left over from that i will decide what i will pay on debt um this month and then what i will set aside for my family this month i'm hoping that that makes sense um to you guys um so buttercup bunny um my tips are going to be down here oh wait you can't see that my tips are going to be down here so i've been said i've been putting aside how much um the full tip amount will be but yeah it'll be down here um so okay so in january um okay so let's do okay let's do expenses <laughs> this is much harder now okay all right okay how 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 okay so let's let's look at subscriptions because i do have subscriptions oh let me see if i can grab a post-it i do have subscriptions so let's talk about those first. Um, so for subscriptions, I have um, I have Amazon Prime, which is very new. You guys don't know me for having any subscription. Um, I have Amazon Prime. I have Disney Plus. Um, uh, what other subscription do I have? I have a subscription to a personal trainer. So a trainer, because I don't personally feel comfortable going to the gym, but I, but you guys know I love um, working out. And um, yeah, those are my only subscriptions. Okay, so Amazon is ninety nine nine ninety nine 
Disney is $12.99 and the personal trainer is $14.99. Um, I no longer pay my gym membership and I no longer pay for personal training anymore. That is sort of all built into this. And then I just purchased most of the equipment, which I mean, I use equipment loosely. Um, and I'll show you guys in another vlog like what I have for my home gym membership. But these are my subscriptions. So let's look at the total for my subscriptions and let's put that number in. Oops. And this, I mean, for people who've been following me for a while, this is a big freaking deal. You guys know I've had no subscriptions whatsoever. So $37.97 is the total for my subscription. The other big thing that I got and I actually got on Christmas Eve, it is the big Christmas gift is I got a Christmas Eve puppy. So I do have a dog in my life, I'm very excited. He is brand new to my world. Um, I don't have any of his supplies or any of that stuff. I, I mean, I have a leash um, and I have a toy and that's it that I have right now. And so I do want to get my puppy some things. Um, and I've never had a puppy before. I've had dogs, so I don't know what it costs for puppies, but I'm thinking about 150 should be enough for me to figure out what I'm gonna, I've literally had him since Christmas Eve. So I may not even, I mean, in my mind, I'm like, I just wanna live with him for two more weeks before I start buying anything. Cause otherwise I'm, I don't, you know, I don't know. Um, so, but for those of you guys who have dogs or puppies, what if anything, or do you, or not, let me not say that, do you think $150 is enough to budget for buying things for him, um, this month? And when I say things, I'm, this isn't including his food. Um, he came with an amount of, well, he didn't come with an amount of food, but he has food right now that I think will be enough and um, the diet that he's going to be on and stuff like that, like I'm, I just need to figure out what those costs are. So I'm saying 150 to just puppify my home and my life, not to feed him is what I'm thinking. But, I, you know, I've never had a puppy. And he is nine weeks. He's a Libra. Um, <laughs> I'm very excited about him. Um, so, so, yeah, so without including puppy food, just like puppy I love you yeah so like crate we're not doing puppy pads he will be potty trained we have had two listen listen I am not about that puppy pad life he we so he got here on Christmas Eve and he had a couple little you know did you know he had a couple little puppy moments um but we have had two and a half full successful days of only using the restroom outside so but yes I'm thinking of like you know I don't know, a, a crate, a bed, a shampoo. Um, he does have a chew toy, but maybe more chew toys. Um, I do have a leash um, and we'll just, I, I want to get him a really nice collar, but I just, you know, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I feel like I should wait cause he's a puppy like, and he's probably going to grow out of the collar. Um, so, you know, I'm just looking. Okay. So you guys think of 150 is enough. Um, so funds for the vet, he's come with all of his shots and everything is like up to date right now. There's not anything that he'll need in terms of shots for January. Um, and he, he is, uh, keyed, I think is what it is. So he has the little key that like, if he gets lost or something, I could just go to a site. Oh, pet insurance. I didn't think about that. Okay. How much is pet? Where, where would I get pet insurance from? Okay. Pet insurance, let me write this down. So we need pet insurance. I knew I was gonna need a crate. We are gonna do crate training because I do wanna give him the den experience of his ancestors. Um, yeah, he's chipped. Yep, he's chipped. Um, so it looks like I just need a crate. I need like water and food bowls. Water, food bowls. So yeah, you guys say about 150 looks like it's more than enough. Okay, all right. So we'll go with 150. So down here in puppy supplies, I've never, well, no, that's not true. I did get to fill out this box very early on. I don't know if you guys remember, but I did have a dog. Um, but I get to fill out this box. So I'm going to go ahead and put 150 here for my new pup. 
uh, I don't I don't personally like plastic in general. Um, so I'm as much plastic stuff as I can avoid. I probably will definitely avoid. Oh, it's about thirty five dollars a month for pet insurance. Okay. Oh, okay. Through my rental insurance. Bah. Interesting. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. So let's see what else is in this area. Um, I guess that's really it. No, no, no. So I want to get my nails done. Um, let me. Okay, hold on. Let me think. Toiletries. Do I? I don't need any new toiletries. I'll probably bulk shop my toiletries next month. Which buying my toiletries every quarter has been like the best thing in all the land. Um. um Oh, a woman of a certain age that in a lifetime I wouldn't spend more than that 150. Oh no, 300. 300 on vet bills. Okay. Um, okay, so um, oh, let me cross this out. Therapy. We still have therapy. Um, twice a month. So 140. Then toiletries. I'm up to date on my toiletries, but you know what? I wanna I actually wanna get um replace my feminine hygiene products. So what are those like? Maybe it's like five dollars a pack, and now I can get like what, like four. So is that like twenty? So twenty-five. So maybe I'll do thirty, and then I can update those. My other toiletries are fine, um, but I'll just update my um, natural pads and stuff. And I get those from an Etsy shop called Rosie Pads. Um, cosmetics and hair care. Um, I'm fine there. I'm not taking any like master classes. Oh, actually, well, no, that's already paid for though. I am taking French, um, but that's already paid for. Books and supplies. I really would like to buy some books. <laughs> um, but we'll we'll go ahead and leave that off. I don't necessarily have to put that in there now. Um, child support. Oh, uh, PT for my son. Um, yes, we stopped PT. Yes, my son was re-injured. So we are back to the PT. We haven't started it, but it'll start in January. So does anybody remember what it used to be? What was it, 240 a month? Well, let me see, 70 times four, 280, it was 280. Um, Angel said, you are spending excessively. Okay, what am, what's, what, where, what is the parts that are excessive? I'm curious. Um, so my son's physical therapy is 280. What, Angel, yeah, I would love to know what part is the excessive part for you in this budget. Um, so physical therapy um, for my son, uh, what else? My mom's birthday is in January. I would love to buy my mom a gift. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I want to get her. Don't know what I want to get her. Um, huh. Yeah, I listen, me in the library, they sent me a, a email um, reminding me that I needed to update my library card, like to renew it or whatever. And the library, and there's a library, the Harold Washington Library is my favorite library in Chicago. It's amazing. Like, I love the library. And so there's a librarian there that I, like, love. And so she, like, sent me a separate, like, you know, holiday Christmas, like, uh, email. It really warmed my heart that I have, like, a relationship with a librarian. That's how much I love it. So, yeah, I have, like, a library card. I have Hoopla. I have Libby. I have all of that. I'm saying I just want to buy books. That's <laughs> just the thing. Oh, that's what I was saying. My nails. Okay, I wanted to get my nails done. Okay, so things I didn't spend my nails and dogs and buying books. So yeah, I'm not gonna buy books. I'm just sharing with you guys that I want to. Um, and then yeah, the dog is new, and then the nails. So I feel like the dog and the nails are the two new things. Um, newbie, the newbie in review. I don't have a set budget for gifts. But I would like to. Um, one of the things that I was able to do this year um, for Christmas, originally I was planning to go home for Christmas, but I couldn't because of family stuff. Um, and But I, has, I had been saving since June or July maybe, June or July, I can't remember, to go home for Christmas. And 
because I had been saving to go home for Christmas and then I couldn't go home for Christmas, I was able to use that money to buy Christmas gifts for everybody. And my goal was to get everybody something that they wanted. And it, nothing makes me, made me feel like it was the most fulfilling experience in all the land that I had already set aside money for Christmas. And then I was able to get people what they want. It was just a really beautiful experience. Um, but yeah, I don't, normally I don't really, you know, I don't, I think I haven't had the luxury of being able to buy gifts. So I've never, the Nubian review, I've never really thought about um, gifts, but I would love some help. Like anybody can throw a number out. I like, I'm just curious, like $50, um, $100 for my mom's birthday gift. Um, yeah. So getting my nails. So that would be I guess that would be under I'm gonna put nails under something different because I feel like the way that I do my toiletries and my cosmetics that's different and I feel like nails is a new thing and I want to represent the new thing of it if that makes sense um so we're gonna cross out baby supplies and we'll do nails and what is it usually like 75 um um I'm trying to think. Well, if I don't, and I don't always get my toes done. I usually do my toes like every other month. I mean, I obviously I could get them done every month, but I mostly just like my manicure. Um, and my manicure is like 20 bucks. So 20. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's usually. But I'm looking, if anybody can help me out with an amount to spend. Yeah, I think my nails usually come to like, it's usually less than this because I don't always get my toes done, but we'll we'll put 75 there for that. Um, oh, my thing on the computer stopped going up. Okay. Um, I have $99,999 left in debt. Um, $100. 75 seems fair because it leaves room for a tip. Yeah. 50 200 and a spa day for your mom. Mother's B day. Okay, 100 Um yeah, I don't get acrylic tips. I just, yeah, I just get a good manicure. Some in shellac sometimes, like I sometimes do like every other one. Um, uh, let's see. Okay, so what do you guys think about like, so 250 for the gift? Okay. Thank you, Car Free Casey. She said, I remember when it was over 200 and my heart hurt for you. Yeah, my heart hurt for me too. Um, uh, 50 per person for the gifts. Oh, okay. 50 per person for everybody's gifts until further notice. Okay. Um, okay. Um, Lydia said the word essential, do not make it essential. Stop spending. Careful. You are overboarding and spending. Okay. Um, uh, you should sell teas with all the land on them. <laughs> um, Let's see. How much debt was for my education? Uh, about 190,000 of it. Um, 100 for your mom. Wow, under 100K. Yes, okay. So we're between $50 per person per gift and $100 per person per, per gift. So if you think I should do $100 per person per, per gift moving forward throughout 2021 as just my general gift guide, press one. If you think I should do $50 per person per gift, press two. So a hundred. Okay. I'm seeing mostly, Oh, it was, it started out as ones. Now it's twos. Okay. So ones was a hundred, two was 50, right? I should have wrote that down. <laughs> One was 100, two was 50. So, okay, $50 a month per person per gift. So, that'll be what I do for my mom. Okay, so 50 for my mom's birthday. Oh, no, the opposite. It was 100, so two was 100. Oh, okay, so $100. Okay, my bad, guys. Sorry. I said it, and I should have wrote it down. Okay, so $100 for my mom's birthday gift. Um, all right, and then pocket money for myself uh I mean it's really it's really weird now because I you know I just have 
great disposable income. So um, let's go to tips and then we'll come back to pocket money. So what I set aside for tips, if you remember, I want to do 25% in tips. So my grocery budget is, oh man, so it was 50 for the two. Okay, two was 50. Okay, so it is $50. Okay, $50 per person. Okay, one is 100, two is 50. Okay, thanks guys. Um, um, so the tip for groceries, $75. The tip for Uber, $25. The tip for laundry, $15. So 75 plus 25 plus 15 equals about $115 in tips. Um, actually, we'll do another 15 for the tips for my nails. So that will be 75 plus 25 plus 15 plus 15. So $130 a month in tips. I'm right around that. Um, okay, so I think that is everything on the personal side of spending that I need to do in this month of January. So let's look at my personal spending. Um, 140 plus 30 plus 280 plus 37 97 plus 50 plus 75 plus 150 plus 130 so it looks like my wants come up to eight hundred ninety two dollars and ninety seven cents but I'm gonna just double check my math on that so two therapy sessions for 140 toiletries for 30 physical therapy for my son um, $37.97 for my subscriptions um, $50 for a gift from my mom $75 for my nails uh, $150 for my new puppy and then $130 in tips so yes $892.97 would be the total for my um, Oh, Angel, absolutely. I talked to my therapist about my spending. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is, like, I'm telling you guys, money is so emotional. Like, um, yeah, I did child support. Kalila, I did child support in the beginning um, already. But, yes, thanks for mentioning it. Yes. Uh, I thousand percent talked to my therapist about spending. So, if you guys look, I'm, I'm really excited about this number because... This number is less than, let's see, it's less than 10% of my total income. Well, obviously, Stacy, because 10% is 2,000. Duh. Okay, so it's less than, so it's less than 5% of my total income to take care of all of my wants. And that includes a puppy, which like totally blows my mind that like I can have my wants fulfilled for less than 5% of my income. And it can include a puppy. That is mind blowing. Like if you want to blow your mind, like that right there, just blew mine. So now I am going to add this all up and figure out or subtract this from my income and figure out what we have left for debt and then setting aside for family stuff. Okay, so eight nine two point nine seven for my wants. Boom. Minus 28150 for my insurances. Boom. Minus, can you guys see my calculator? Minus 100 for my transportation. Minus 60 for my laundry. Minus $300 for food. Minus 75 for utilities. Minus 937 for rent. Minus 4000 in giving. So that leaves me with $13,353, wait, $13,353.50, really? $13,353.53. Well, I shouldn't have 53 cents, so something is wrong. Oh, because of my subscriptions, that's right. The reason I have that odd number there is because my subscriptions has a $97 thing on there. If that, I'm hope, yeah. So. This is my disposable income, $13,353.53. Um, Joanne, very, very impressed with your mindset. Thank you. Um, thank you. Um, 
Um, best buddy says so personal should be five percent of your income. No, I think it should it can be anything, but like most people, their personal expenses, their wants is over fifty percent of their income and then it creates a lot of stress and strain. But there isn't a um Dave Ramsey says oh, I guess I'm sorry. Yes, that is correct. Yes, so Dave Ramsey said, yeah, your personal should be between 5 and 10% of your income. I didn't know that. So technically, I could even go up to $2,000 in personal wants and still I would be in a good place. Yeah, I didn't, I just saw that. Can you guys see these percentages right there? Um, yeah. So yeah, I'm super excited. It just, it feels good to me personally to know that like I can have a whole entire puppy and I'm still under 5% of my income. Like that's mind blowing because you know, like before I had a puppy and literally when I looked at my budget I was like oh you cannot afford this puppy so you need to not have a puppy and that was very hard for me so I'm very excited that like I can really afford the puppy um, <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do just to make my numbers nice and neat is I'm going to put 10,000 on my student loans and then I'm gonna take the 3,500, oops, no, no, the 3,353 dollars and 53 cents, and I'm just gonna set that aside for my family emergency fund. And then that way we just make it nice and clean. And then next month I will be like, I have $89,999. Um, you know, Antonia will having the puppy raise my rent. I literally told my apartment complex that I had a puppy and they were like, okay. I was like, oh, I'm just calling to see what my rent is going to be. And they were like, don't worry about it. I was like, I, uh, I have a puppy. They were like, don't worry about it. Like my apartment complex is amazing. Okay. They're amazing. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Um, I am going to put here. Where do I want to put that? I'm just going to put in this just because it's a blank box family emergency fund well no no let me put it in the right place i'm gonna put it here because that's where emergency funds go um obviously i could just be putting thirteen thousand dollars on my student loans and we will get back to that but i want to be i want to i want to feel secure here so so i'm just going to put family emergency fund and then this amount that just wants to be a five so bad. Okay, that's that. And then when I come over here um, to my student loans, you guys know my student loans, my minimum is $1,600 a month. So just so we can feel good about what we're doing, 10,000 minus 1,600 means that I'm putting an extra $8,400 on my student loans. What's really amazing about that is all of that, every single dollar of the 8,400 is going, say it with me people, to the principal. And you know what that means? That means I'm gonna be debt free very, very, very soon. It's beautiful. Oh, not 53, not 35. Thank you. Did I put 35 somewhere? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. These fives and threes. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you. Check the sense. <laughs> um, thank you. Thank you, guys. I got it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm like, listen, listen. I want somebody to say something to me. Because you can't. Because $8,400 is going to go to the principal. I don't know. Like, I mean, And this was something that I chose not to do just to get bogged down in my... Um, the interest versus the principal because it just would have been a distraction for me but I'm telling you this year and I feel like in somebody I don't know if anybody followed it closely it was like April or May when they were like student loans are zero interest like I did not know because even the payment that I made in like April or May still had a little bit of like oh this percentage went to interest this percent went to your principal and then one day I just woke up and everything was just going to my principal and I was like what is this magical land I've entered into like it was it just was beautiful so I'm just I'm really excited about that number so we'll go ahead and put 10,000 here and we will do our math to make these numbers work. Yeah, the student loans aren't zero interest. Oh, you mean since, yeah, yeah. 
women of a certain age that's they that's what happened because of the pandemic they put federally funded now i don't know about the other places that you might have loans but any federally funded loan um is zero interest and that has been amazing like it, I, there's no other way to say it but amazing like absolutely amazing um and i don't know how the other loans are but that has been a blessing and a half okay okay so let's do some math and then we'll go to allocated spending so 2000 minus my tides minus my child support minus my uh family emergency fund minus my rent minus my utilities minus my groceries minus my laundry minus my transportation minus um minus my insurances minus my wants boom who's excited me oh that there's nothing that feels better than a zero basic budget let me tell you nothing at all like when i look at this what it tells me is that i'm going to put ten thousand dollars on my student loans i'm gonna have a puppy i'm gonna get my nails done i'm gonna have my insurances i'm gonna have some food in the refrigerator i'm gonna be able to tip the people who are bringing me my food i'm gonna be able to have my laundry clean i'm gonna be able to have a roof over my head i'm gonna be able to take care of my family i'm gonna be able to honor like it feels amazing to see this down on paper now before it was down on paper is twenty thousand dollars a little bit overwhelming absolutely it's a little bit overwhelming because it's twenty thousand dollars and i didn't know what to do with it but now i know exactly what to do with it i know exactly what to do with it and i know exactly how to take care of myself while doing it feels amazing it feels a uh, freaking credible uh, ugh. zero based budgets are amazing okay they are amazing don't let anyone ever tell you that zero based budgets are not amazing there's nothing that feels better than that number coming out to zero and and you knowing that everything that you could possibly want in that month is taken care of so excited so excited okay so i'm gonna pay myself on the first and I'm gonna pay myself on the 15th. And if you guys remember, I tried to do the whole paying myself once, and what that ended up doing was, it alleviated the stress of like having to do this budget form, but then I wasn't as connected to my money. And because I have so much more money that is going through my hands, I want to stay connected to it because it's really easy at this point to be like, oh, I know I can afford it, it's in there. But I don't ever want to have that attitude about my money, obviously, because I want it to keep growing, but also because like then it'll be like I have all this money, but my debt isn't going down or something like that. And I don't ever want those numbers to be mismanaged. So keeping my um, my payments of two different payments helps me to be able to do that properly. So I'll get 10 grand on the first and then I'll give myself another 10 grand on the 15th. So. Um, what I like to pay at the beginning of the month are the things that honor my values. So my tithes honor my values, so 2000 Then my child support honors my values as well, $2,000. Um, we will probably set my emergency fund aside in the next one. Um, I will pay my rent. And still my rent is still one month... Um, ahead which is a beautiful feeling as well um but i still always pay it every month um and then my utilities i actually think it's the way they come out is second gas and electric comes out and then this actually comes out over there so i'll just put that over there okay so that's that we don't have backsides which is kind of nice but you guys will just see me flipping through the pages here real quick i'm just gonna put a tube up here so i know um 
um, my groceries. I'm so let's see, how do I? How, okay, so grocery shopping is just very different. I still like to do twice, but I do a bigger bulk in the beginning. So likely what it usually I'm doing like 75, 80 for Mariano's and then maybe like 35 to 60 from Costco. So then, oh, you guys, I forgot. No, I have another subscription. It's every other month. I forgot. Okay. That is the other thing. Okay. There is one more thing. I forgot. Okay. And it goes with groceries. So for meat. So you guys know that for meat i wasn't i was like well what would you guys say 80 percent plant-based and a lot of that was just because it was more affordable so i do buy meat now and i wanted to talk to you guys about that so the meat that i buy is steaks and it comes in a subscription program the program is 120 dollars, but it's every other month um i might even set it up on a um I might even set it up, see if I can do like once a quarter because I'm just not getting through the steaks. And I get uh, 10 steaks. Yes, I get 10 steaks for $120. They are grass-fed steaks because um, you guys know I love that. Now, because, like, so, so obviously every other month, so it's not going to come out in January. It'll come out in February the following month. But in the month when my steaks come out, and that and that affects then how I shop for the other stuff, if that makes sense. Um, so in the month when steaks would come out, you would see this number be inside of this number. I'm including this hundred and twenty dollars. So for example, let me. I just want to be clear with you guys. So this three hundred dollars is gonna just be spent on like food to eat it's not going to be spent on this but if we were in next month 120 of this 300 dollars would be spent on the steaks and i just want to point that out because i know that that's where some of this is going but i don't i don't think you guys knew that and i wanted to be transparent and make sure you guys knew that every other month a portion of this and remember how i was saying like i also do the costco like every other month so that's where the offset is um in it so it's just giving you guys i mean i guess you'll see it in my grocery haul but it's giving you guys a little bit more detail of how that 300 dollars spins hoping that that makes sense um uh you know i don't know i usually maybe like two times a week two or three times a week steak is like my favorite um the steak company is called pre um obviously i should be showing you guys this in a grocery haul but this is a steak company i love it the steak is absolutely delicious. Um, but I just, I did want to mention that because I feel like that's one of those things that's kind of hidden. Um, it's like, it's hidden inside of that $300 number and I don't want um, it to have that kind of a, a felt, like an experience for you guys. Hold on. My, no, no, my freezer is being weird. Okay, so I just wanted to point that out. And then it won't be charged this month. So that's good to know. And the reason why that came up, because I was trying to figure out <laughs> how I was going to spend my grocery money. So I'll probably do about $200 out of the first one and then $100 out of that one. That's just the way that it sort of breaks down for me. Um, Frank, yes, I eat fish. I eat salmon. Um, yeah. And I eat, I like catfish too. Um, okay. And then laundry that actually ends up coming out at the end of the turns out. Okay. And then for gas, we'll do about 50, 50. And then, you know what guys, did I put my dental on there? Do we miss it? No, I did. I put it on there. Okay. We didn't have any, hold on. I'm sorry. That keeps moving. We didn't have any of this. And then I should be doing my math as I'm going along. My apologies, I'm not doing my math as I go along. So it should be 10,000 minus 2,000 in tides, which would leave me with 8,000. Then 8,000 minus 2,000 in child support leaves me with 6,000. 
then 6,000 minus 937 leaves me with 506.63 minus 25 leaves me with 503.38 so this is the form that everybody wants to skip because it's tedious and it, if your numbers are wrong it super sucks um, but this is the form where the rubber meets the row, right? The first one is like, this is what I need. The second one is like, this is where all of my money is going. This is the form that tells you when your money is going to go where it's going. Um, yes, I am definitely missing the bulk bins at Whole Foods. Like it, you guys know those bulk bins. I live my life by those bulk bins. Like I love the bulk bins and can't do it. Can't do it. So definitely hurts. Um, Minus my groceries. Um, minus my transportation. Mm -hmm. um. Oh, I didn't think about that, best buddy. I sure can do some sort of affiliate marketing with them. I do really love them. They're really amazing. Um like great quality i told you guys that a part of the reason why i didn't eat meat uh before when my income was much lower is because i was like when i do eat meat i need it to be the highest quality meat and for me it's like hormone free grass fed etc cetera, etc cetera. um so i'm really grateful that i was able to find such great steaks um now i'm getting exactly what i want okay Minus twenty six seventy five. Minus one fifty. Okay. Um, five seventy five. Four five eight zero five. Minus. $99. I am not looking forward to this root canal. Okay. All right. So, um, my therapy, usually she just charges me once a month at the end of the month. So I know that's going to go over there. Um, I will order my toiletries. I will, I will, so I can be prepared for that, four, four, five, one, five, um, my son's PT will come out, um, I mean, I obviously could put that a little bit higher, but my son's PT will come out in a lump sum to pay for the month, that will be that. Then, um, my subscriptions, those all come out at the beginning. Okay. Um, and then, I didn't give myself any pocket money, guys, but I, I'm fine. <laughs> Uh, I'm fine. I will get my mom's gift at the beginning as well. My mom is a New Year's baby. Mm. Okay. Then um, I will pull my nails out. And then I will also pull my puppy stuff out. Three, eight, five, eight, five, three. Um, yeah, and then I will, 50, I will, um, so the tipping would be, the 15 for the nails, the fifth, my laundry comes out at the end of the month, so I can leave that 15 over there. And then we would do 
50, okay, so 50 and 15, and ugh, I hate how that's divided, so six. So what's the total for tipping? It's 130. So 200, that's 50 plus 14.50. Is that what makes? Oh, 12.50. Ooh, child, girl. Plus 50 plus 15 equals 77.50 for tips. I really don't want that number to be that unattractive like that. I feel like that's going to drive me insane. Um, um, hmm. Let's see. We're just going to do, or we'll do 100, and then we'll just do 30 over here. Okay, so that would be tipping. So 3, 8. 58.53 minus. I know this part is boring, guys. I apologize. Um, I just want my numbers to go together. So we have that left over. And then we can do the 3,758.53. We can do that out of the first one. Or, um, or, um, or I can do my I can do my emergency fund. I can fund my emergency fund, can't I? Yeah. And then I have this like dangling amount, but I think I think I would feel more secure to fund my emergency fund. I should have pulled that down when I first came across it. Um, so so you guys, just so you know, once the debt is paid off, my my next big money. Um, problem that I want to solve for is savings because I'm not a good saver by the stretch of anyone's imagination. I want to learn how to do that. I don't have the skill of saving naturally. Um, I'm a squirreler and I have a, a really, uh, um, not really, but my mindset around saving is not amazing. Um, and I'm going to fix that once my debt is paid off. And I also think that that's one of the reasons why the Dave Ramsey's program works so well for me because it doesn't prioritize savings. So I'm able to, I don't have to do something that I'm I'm not good at. I mean, I wasn't good at budging, but I don't have to do something that, that I'm really not good at, I guess. <laughs> like I'm not trying to learn that skill and budgeting and earning an increase. I'm not trying to learn a bunch of skills all at once. So we'll add that 405 up here. And then that makes my total for this column 10,405. Okay, so emergency fund, that's done, that's done, minus 25. We have 10, 380. What? We're, we are missing, we did not spend $380. I hope we can find that. Minus 100. Equals hold on. I'm trying to keep my calculator in the shot for you guys. I apologize. 10 to 80 minus 60. 10, 20, 20 minus 50. 170. Okay. Oh no. Dang it. Oh no. I'm still. Oh, did I have it? I have it. Okay. Whew, I found it. Okay. <laughs> 140. Yay. 10, 0, 30. Minus tips. 30. Equals 10,000. Which come to the final page. And we say 10,000. And then the remaining is zero. Boom. Who did it? I did it. Yes. Okay. This is very, 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 very exciting. All right. So my allocated spending is done. And that feels really good to know how, excuse me, to know when my money is going. Right. So this one is about knowing when. Most people get paid twice a month. 
and most people don't and they'll say oh, okay i know my rent's coming out of my second check and my car note is coming out of my or excuse me my rent is coming out of my first check my car note's coming out of my second check it's not enough to just know that surface level about what your money is doing get into the nitty-gritty and the details because i know after january 1st my values will have been honored with respect to tithing and giving setting aside money for the family emergency roof over my head all of that stuff will be taken care of and i know by my next paycheck i will have put ten thousand dollars on the 15th i will be ten thousand dollars less in student loan debt like which is amazing but i know when that's going to happen in my life and that gives me like some peace and confidence and assurance um i'm gonna turn you guys back around so i can go on my little rant before we do our um q a but it gives me some confidence to know that like i can um oops super close did it magnify my goodness what's happening why is that so close can this magnify i think it, it can okay okay youtube youtube was like you're getting a magnification feature didn't know that that was a thing youtube um but yeah, so the allocated spending tells you when your money is going to do it. And that's just as important as knowing where your money is going. And the where is the cash flow plan. And then the what your money is doing is the first one. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop off for like five seconds. And then I'm going to pop back on and we will do a Q&A where I will hang out for a little bit and answer as many of your questions as humanly possible. So I will see you guys in about five seconds.